mum. Uh, I would just say, yeah, uh, it, it's been exciting on that level, and this last few seasons I've found a way of, uh, I, I felt, of, um, Gaius makes peace with himself on that level. He's not, um, yeah, he, uh, he, he doesn't mind and he doesn't care by the end of it. At least on the tail. Yes, sir. I want to know that these are the kinds of conversations we have when in the script it says, and then Baltar has sex with her. <laughs> An hour later, we're like, James, just have sex with her. Okay, it's going over the place. Um, it never occurred to me as a kind of cat that would have to be talked into bed. <laughs> Especially the last season must have been very painful. It just seemed like one big holy sex orgy the whole time. Yeah, I, um, I must say, I kind of loved that whole idea, and it was, uh... Well, I like the idea of Gaius being initially kind of set up by these people who think he thinks are even more crazy than the people who wanted to kill him. And there's all this great stuff about, you know, you're being, you're being toted as this god or this spiritual leader when actually you've got no ideas and you kind of pretty much, not despise, but you think very little of the people around you who have supported you and put you up there. That, that um, lends to um, a lot of worry upstairs. And so that's, uh, that's been a lot of fun to play. Almost led to a name change for the show. It could have become Battle Slut Galactica. <laughs> Watch the space. <laughs> uh, Katie, we've never met. This is a first, but it's an honor. You are hands down the single greatest female role model in the history of entertainment. Huge <laughs> Keeley, you play badass on the show. You carry, they carry that part insanely well, and a bunch of chicks look up to you, and a bunch of dudes look up and want, want to look even closer at you. <laughs> You kind of took over for, for old Lucy Lawless and Xena as the lesbian icon as well, I would imagine. That's a lot of, a lot of responsibility, how's it feel? Um, I, <laughs> this is the first time in my life I've been speechless. That's what happens to every gay icon at one point. She was 
beating him up, but what she didn't realize is she was cheating. Because <laughs> she knew that she couldn't beat up a guy, so she had to drop kick him. Yeah, that and I'm consistent. Right. I'm not going to be Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's moments, I think that I've had to rescue both of these guys a couple times. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. They just sit there and look pretty. <laughs> Stare close to the mic. It doesn't say speak, so we're just gonna sit here and look. <laughs> we'll go to you next because you're a pretty man as well. All right. Look <laughs> forward to covering your genitals later. So you pop into the show for a few episodes, then you disappear, and then one day they're like, here's a script where you run the final five. You must have just been like, I'm so fucking lucky. <laughs> like, you just instantly became part of the mythos and stuff. Yeah, it's a television lottery. It really is. Um, yeah, I'm just a freeloader up here, honestly. I'm like the Johnny Cone lady, right? I show up for two or three episodes in season two, they say, uh, I'd like to come back and die. I was like, yeah, that sounds good. So at the end of the day, yeah, actually, Katie Sackhoff, I thank you sincerely for my existence. <laughs> um, yeah, the simple answer to that question is it was like winning the lottery. Um, being invited back on the show after we were supposed to be around for two or three episodes was, uh, it was a dream job. And, um, you know, Katie and I worked well together and got along good with the cast, and they thought it would be a good idea to introduce it. Another dynamic to the relationship between these two. And uh, I stuck around, end of season three, they sh give me a script that says recital, and fucking wow. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I guess I'll be around for a while. So <laughs> that was great. Was, great. was there ever a moment where you're like, well, can't I be the fucking fifth one? <laughs> and they're like, Truco, you're lucky you're one of the five. Get over there, actually. <laughs> You know, Ron and I were doing tequila shots and putting on blindfolds and throwing darts going, okay. <laughs> Anders, okay, okay. You were so, it was like gay to Anders, gay to Anders, you know, the darts like, oh, 